everybody. It's uh, three minutes to mailbag, assuming I can get my coffee made and wolf down the breakfast that's already sitting here in that amount of time. Otherwise, I'll be just a couple seconds late. Uh, so let me hop right to it.
said, well, you can play wherever you want, but I'm going to go back in your room. You want to play out there? It's fine. Good morning, everybody. All right, here we are. Take your shoes off. Oh, hi, River. I see you're holding down the mailbags. All right. Well, here we are for our mailbag. Oh, let me get comfy here. Hang on. This is that mat that was sent in last week's mailbag that's supposed to be good for my back, and it really, uh, it is much more pleasant to sit on than, say, the floor or even that thing with the back. It might need to have a few of the beans out, like uh, someone mentioned you can do, but uh, I'm going to try it out the way it is first for a little while longer. See what we think. Excuse me. I feel like I might be sitting about <clears throat> three quarters of an inch high. Um, all right. Uh, so here we are for mailbag, and I think the recording's going. I think the cameras are probably good. I'll check them in a second. So I'll clean off my glasses while we talk. Uh, what's news? News. Okay, the biggest news, of course, is Splotch here is supposed to have had, have, supposed, was, uh, was intended to be adopted today. Um, but once again, uh, she's decided that she would get sick at the last minute, which was mostly the last minute like 36 hours ago. Uh, since then, we've been treating her with both antibiotics and special food uh, with the vet, and I both kind of presuming that it's the special food that's doing the trick. Antibiotics are just sort of there as a backup. So uh, she does seem like she's having much better poops, and she's happier, and everything is really working uh, well at the moment. Uh, nonetheless, that, that just has sort of been a, a recent thing, and so... Uh, her adopter is going to plan on picking her up tomorrow, give us another 24 hours to observe and uh, see how Splotch is doing. Then if it turns up in the next 24 hours that Splotch really is uh, still having issues, uh, we may put it off a week. Uh, so the extra 24 hours are just sort of there for us to evaluate uh, whether we're going to wait another week or whether she'll get picked up tomorrow afternoon, uh, which is the presumptive plan unless uh, things change. So. Uh, so that's the only big news. Everybody else is uh, healthy, wonderful, happy, and uh, she's healthy and happy and wonderful right now too, of course. But I mean, uh, everybody else is just nothing, nothing to report. Uh, everything's good, I think, as far as I know. Uh, we still need an adopter for little Bungle, who's upstairs and is the sweetest thing. Um, you know, I keep talking about how Bungle gets along with other cats, which isn't bad, and uh, she definitely could go with another cat. Um, or go to a house with other cats, you know, if someone's patient. Um, but I'm also of the opinion, I think, I think there is a possibility that Bumble would be happiest uh, maybe just with some humans. She certainly seems like, even though she gets along great with Splotch and she appreciates the time that they have to play, uh, I do get the impression um, that uh, she would be just as happy if uh, she didn't have other cats to play with and just had to, to make do with a television and some food and her humans. I think that would do her pretty well, actually. So something to think about. Uh, okay. Um, let me take a look here. Uh, I wanted to check the stream and make sure that the cameras look good. And they look all right. And then I also wanted to check Discord and make sure there aren't any huge complaints. Uh, it doesn't look like there are. So, oh, that's Splotch in the box. You know what I'm intended to do? Give me just one second here. I intended to clean up the litter box so that if Splotch snuck in there and made her poop while we were sitting here, I would know. Uh, and then I didn't. So now, uh, I think she just peed, though. Let's see. She still hasn't had a poop this morning. And I think I mentioned earlier that I think she, uh, I think she doesn't like the litter boxes upstairs. And I think there's some evidence that she does like the litter box uh, that is... Uh, in the litter room down here that she doesn't currently have access to. So my hope is uh, that she'll use this one and not the floor, but if she uses the floor and it's a good poop, at least then I'll understand uh, that she's doing okay and probably just has some bad associations with the litter box, would be my guess anyway. None of that's for sure, of course. So, uh, okay, we'll keep an eye out for that. So this is, uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy, and on the front there's a sticker that says, Do more of what makes you happy which is uh, pretty good advice, I think, in general. I mean, you know, as long as you're not vastly misaligned. <laughs> and then uh, in the back, it says, hello to all who read this uh, from morning sunrise, whom we know. 
and uh, let's see here. I'm getting voicemails from uh, from service people that uh, manage uh, just regular whatever. Anyway, just had to look to see what it was. So here we go. Morning sunrise. Back on track. Hello to all who read this. I think that's very cute. I hope people uh, along the way at the post offices, various post offices, appreciate that. Wow, this is a cute little pop-up on the front. It says, good luck in a, sort of a Chinese, uh, like, appearing script thing, I think. Uh, Japanese, I suppose, then, because on the inside we have cherry blossoms and a little uh, Japanese uh, lucky cat. So I guess um, I got the design wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, not really an expert on that stuff. Anyway, there should be a note right here. A very cute little calico kitty. I love the fact that he's all like 3D with his little tail in the back and his little paw in the front. And the note says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mamas and babies, been a while since I've written. I've been recovering from trauma, knee surgery, tripped and, uh, slipped and fell. Not going to tell the details, but recovering fine. Just want to say these last several classes have been a joy to watch. Always would have loved to have a townie type kitty like Villa and Yurt are adorable. Yes, they are. Maybe one day, but for now, there's K.A. You know you and DJ are loved by so many. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for opening your home to us. You have one cool cat house. I hope your 2022 started off better than mine. LOL. Uh, you make a better life for these cats and make a better life for one another. I love this calico kitty and figured Maggie would have fun with it. Well, I know Maggie will if it lasts that long. Somebody already tried. I don't see any damage, though, so it looks like it's going to last a little bit. Uh, love and hugs. Auntie Dawn. Morning sunrise on Discord. XO. P.S. I've never seen a brown kitty before. How rare. Heart, heart, K.A. Well, thank you, uh, morning sunrise. I think that... Um, I also, I don't think I have ever seen a brown kitty before. And they are, it says, uh, the internet says, super rare. I had no idea. Uh, if I did, I probably would have wanted to, to see one come to the Academy eventually and been disappointed. So now it worked out the other way around. Um, oh, oh, don't put the toy in the water. You just brought this toy over here and tried to put it in the water dish, but he missed. He's going to keep trying. Is this going to, uh, I don't think that's quite on the screen. So uh, what was I saying, though? I was saying something about brown kitties. No, oh, about your, your knee trauma. I'm so sorry that you slipped and fell. Uh, you know, I've, I've had a little bit of traumas in the recent past and have a whole new appreciation for just how much that can put you through. So I hope, I hope you do uh, feel better and soon. Uh, and thank you so much for writing to us. <sighs> of course, the minute I get the camera going, he gets all distracted. You, you, where did the toy even go? Is it behind? Oh, he's got it now. Okay. Now he's going to take it away. All right. Well, trust me. He came in here and tried to put it in the water dish. That was the original intent. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, where am I here? Got to check to make sure that camera turned off so we're not just recording nothing. Okay. Uh, morning, Sunrise. Thank you so much for writing and sending a little toy for Maggie. She really does love to tear these things up. I usually leave them on the counter, and she just shreds them. Uh, she's a real, you know, you guys know that. She likes to steal wires and bits of paper and things. I don't know what she's building. Someday maybe we'll find out. Zip ties and uh, all that kind of stuff. Twist ties also. Zip ties and twist ties both. Any kind of ties, I guess. All right. Uh, this one has a cute little kitty on the back, and on the front it says... Uh, well, it says German words, and I'll just, um, it says, schon das es dich gibt, and that's, uh, that's what you're going to get from me. I tried. Inside it says, hello, K.A. and Dr. DJ. I found, here, here's what it says so you can read it properly. I found out about the Kitten Academy by accident, and now I check in every day to see how the mom cats and kittens are doing. You are doing a super loving job to give everyone a good start and a new life. Keep it up. There are so many cats that need you. Uh, the best greetings from Germany, from Vera and cat uh, Vicky, I think. Vicky? Vicky and Vera, the bees. All right. Uh, thank you so much for writing to us, Vicky and Vera. Um, and uh, thank you for the, the kind words, too. I really do appreciate it. It's so sweet. And I love the way that you said, um, there are so many cats that need you. I mean, that, that feels like it would put a lot of pressure on me. But what it does is it reminds me. Um, that there are so many cats that, that probably still need help, and uh, there's there's always room for more help. You know, uh, you can people. I, when I say you, I mean just anybody. You know, can can always 
volunteer at their local shelter, which is exactly how we started doing this. We just went to our local animal shelter and we said, hey, uh, you know, how about if we foster, help foster some kittens? And they said, great. And then uh, one thing led to another. So I definitely recommend uh, helping out, you know, just go to your local shelter and, and say, hey, uh, you know, uh, can I foster some kittens? Can I, can I uh, help change some litter boxes? You know, they always need help slinging food and changing litter boxes and cleaning things up and shuffling cats at the shelter too. Um, if you can't take one home, that's an option. Just something to think about. Don't feel like you have to do it. Um, but uh, if you if you did want to do something, there's definitely ways that, that everybody can help out. There's there is there's ways that everybody you know that feels like they want to do something could do something. And uh, asking your local shelter is definitely a good way to start in on that. All right. Uh, let's see. This says Kitten Academy. We got some tie-dyed hearts on the back. Very cool. Hi, Yurt. What do you got, Yurtie? Oh, a newspaper clipping. That. This says Happy Valentine's Day. And it's got lots of little puppies playing on the front. That's super cute. And inside, oh, let's see, it's inside, it says, to all the puppies, cats, and humans of Kitten Academy, with love from his royal fluffiness, Marco and his minions. So sweet. Uh, and apparently that's uh, you, like a print at home Hallmark card. I did not know. Created just for you by me. I see. Very cool. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have a crossword puzzle. And on this side, oh, that's right. The news of Willow joining the White House pets. Well, I got to be honest. Uh, I, I tend not to keep up with uh, politics too well like some people, but I did hear about this a little bit. Uh, somehow, somebody mentioned it. Of course, we don't have a picture of Willow for some reason. Instead of having a picture of Willow in the article, we have a picture of Socks. Uh, you remember Clinton's cat. And, um, and wow, even going further back, there's a photo here of uh, Macaroni the Pony. <laughs> uh, and uh, I... No, no cats, just macaroni. The pony. Okay, well, there you go. Anyway, it's an interesting article. I'll be glad to read it. And I love the fact that it perfectly fits the crossword puzzle on the back. So maybe there's a chance I'll give that a shot too. Uh, the paper is the Columbian. So maybe a little less challenging than the New York Times. I'm not sure. So uh, thank you so much. Also, uh, I heard Maggie might be in here. No? Not here. Okay, sorry. I thought uh, she was River's keeping watch over here, but she's not going to do anything unless they come over, I hope. Uh, let me just make sure the gate is truly secured. Also, that's Custard sitting back there. I don't see Maggie in here, so I don't think she came over the fence yet. Uh, of course, that is a possibility that one of them will decide to come over the fence, and I'm pretty sure uh, that... that um, River is sitting there watching for that. So if it happens, she probably will go immediately after whoever comes out over that fence. It's funny too. You know, I was telling DJ last night that River's uh, attitude towards the faculty reminds me a lot of mom cats like, um, who was it, Tink? Tinker, I think. And uh, Tinker and others, of course, but Tinker's just the one that comes to mind as the example of a mom cat that would let the faculty come and hang out and play and be friendly around her and be friendly with them and take treats with them and uh, everything. But every now and then you could see she'd just start to get irritated and then go after one of them, you know? Um, uh, maybe it's not even Tink I'm thinking of. I do remember she'd, she'd get into him once in a while, but maybe not without reason. But there, there have been mom cats that act that way. And uh, I think that's what she's got going on too, where she, she wants to be friendly with everybody, but she also wants to protect her kittens. And she's got these like conflicting things going on and doesn't always know how to make the right call. Uh, so uh, that's just a long winded way of saying, um, I, I think she is generally cool with other cats, uh, but also I think that we've got to keep a real close eye on her around the faculty. So. All right, uh, I think that's the, the letters portion of mailbag, so we're ready to start opening some things. I don't know where Custard went, but I hope it wasn't over the fence. He's not really an over the fence kind of guy, though. He's just, he's not much of a jumper or climber <laughs> these days, or ever really, but these days especially. Uh, okay, this first package is from True Blue, apparently. True Blue, all right, let's see. 
Oh, oh, right. Yes, of course. I should have guessed what this was, too. I'll tell you what, uh, it's, I, I'm slowing down in my old age. Uh, hard for me to learn some new things. <laughs> Uh, but this is uh, True Blue has been sending these wonderfully handmade catnip stickers for several classes now. And this appears to be the set for River and her kids. So uh, look at that. They're just laid out in order. I'm not even going to pull them out because they're so nicely laid out by chance. So we have, uh, and I love the, the space uh, prints that you've used, but they're still very colorful and pretty. So we have uh, River, Yurt, and then uh, let's just make sure we get these right. Uh, Villa. Villa? Yes. Then chalet lodge and no nope, bungalow and lodge 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 nope i had it right the first time bungalows on the end lodge is here okay these are beautiful the bag has catnip in it i can see that so they're soaked in catnip they probably contain a little as well and uh, these have been a real big hit for everybody oh there's villa okay i see on the back you've gone with sort of their colors as well those are perfect uh, true blue these are awesome endowments. They're very popular stickers. They're very nice. And I love the little heart-shaped tags you made. Uh, thank you very much for those. Their adopters are going to love them. They are going to love them. I wonder if they are going to come back in here and hang out with us. They're very busy playing right now, which I guess is the better thing for them. That's fine. I hope we can uh, see a little bit of them on the other camera, though. I can't see them from here. Oh, look at I missed a note. Uh, this must have been in there with, with the True Blue stuff, I think. And look, it's sealed with this. So we'll come right back around to that. But this is, uh, there's no note here. This is from, oh, there, there's a note. There's Rafa's favorite toys. These are Rafa's favorite toys. So please deploy as you see fit. From Zombie Esther on Discord, Gabe and Cats, Audrey, Olaf, and Rafa in Melbourne, Australia. And these look like nice little felted balls. And these are great toys. Uh, we have a whole bunch of little um, not felted well, not hand felted balls, ones that aren't quite as dense as this, that, that, that are excellent toys for the kittens. So I know these are going to be a big hit and you can see they already are. I'm going to put out some blue ones here because they match what we're doing and I'll put some out upstairs too. So these do, the, I know these are going to be great toys because uh, I know that things like these have been great toys and these just seem like a much uh, maybe higher quality version of the ones that we're used to and in uh, very pretty rainbow colors. So thank you so much to uh, Rafa for enjoying them and recommending them. And Zombie, Esther, Gabe, and uh, Audrey Olaf. Uh, thank you all. Okay, put those right there for uh, future use and come back around to True Blue's card that I think we missed and find out here. I love the little paw print seal as well. And we have a cat here handing another cat a bowl of fish in the shape of a heart for Valentine's Day. It's very cute. Inside it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ sending you happy Valentine fishes. I see true blue. Cute pun. Uh, okay. Oh, and look at that. We put one of the balls under the card. That could be fun if they see it. Yeah, hang on. What is this right there? You see it? You see this? Look. Look. Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh the, boy. That was too fun. <laughs> they drop, I didn't expect uh, uh, Villa to drop the ball she was playing with and immediately go for that one, too. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Villa's collar, uh, Villa's collar is red, Bungie's is blue, Lodge, Chalet, and Yurt all have collars, and they're pretty colors, too. I tried. Happy Valentine's Day to both of you and all the cats and kittens. I tried to find fabrics with Lodge's, Chalet's, Villa's, and Bungalow's. The closest I got were tents for Yurt, so I decided to go with the room theme instead this time. Live long and prosper, and may the force be with you. Love, true blue. Aw, True Blue, thank you so much. That is really sweet. I'm going to put your note in the bag with these things so that when I am distributing them uh, for endowments, I will see it and enjoy it all over again, as I often do. And um, I should probably make an effort to do that today if Splotch has a good chance of going home tomorrow, uh, just to make sure that there's nothing else that should get added to her stuff that was you know, obviously sorted out a long time ago. Uh, so we'll check on that. I, 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 I guess I put your written note with it, but not this one. That's fine, too. We can split it up. Okay, that can go over here. What do you got here, bud? You want to keep playing with this here? Is it more fun if we let it go under something like the card again? Here, let's put this back out then. Let's keep that game going right here. Oh, you didn't see where it went. We've got to watch. Look, follow the ball. Follow the bouncy ball. Shall I? Shall I? I, th I really was thinking this morning about how these kids, uh, I, need to, I need to do a little extra training with them so that they pay attention when I make noises, like the last kids did. Uh, 
Squatch still comes if she hears me making those kissy noises. But these kids don't quite get it yet, and I think it's because I haven't put enough effort into giving them an association with it. Uh, and it's important. It's important to have a cat that is at least willing to pay attention when you call, if not come. Uh, that's that's very important. So, okay. Uh, this is from Chevy and Argy, according to the outside of the box. And on the inside, we have a note. And the note says, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We wanted to send some of the fellas' favorite toys for you to use as you see fit. I had to hide them as somehow they knew what was in the packages. I think it was from all the Saturday morning mailbags. But as I told them, sharing is caring. This is just a small token of how much love the three of us have for K.A., Thank you for all you do for the cats and non-cats, and thank you for sharing it with all of us. I'm sure there are days when a camera in your home is not an ideal setup. I have also enclosed a pair of socks with the, the amazing art Sokira made of Argy. Ooh. Side note, the socks seem strangely large to me, so perhaps they are decorative only? I mean, please don't feel like you have to wear them. It's just a small way for me to show my appreciation for the two fellas that have brightened my world in a way that I never expected. They are so full of life, uh, so full of love, life, and good trouble. Thank you for everything, Courtney, Chevy, and Argy. I love that that phrase, good trouble. I think I may have to start using that uh, on the regular because that is a great phrase. They are full of good trouble. Uh, I see what you mean. The socks do seem strangely large, but they, they are perfect for this art. Look at that print. That is beautiful. I don't even know if I should wear them. They're just too good looking. I might try them on though. I do have kind of big feet, uh, I guess. Sort of medium big. All right, average. Averagely big feet. Averagely average, actually. All right, if we're honest, they're actually kind of small. You know what? Uh, I'll still try them on. I'll let you know how it went. So <laughs> here's, that's beautiful though. Just lovely. Wow. Uh, it, the colors and the, the boldness of it and the print of it came out fantastic. It's just, it's, it's a great piece of art on a great sock. I see you did also send a, a bag of the worms and the red and white uh, mice, which we need to get out more often for these kids. And a bag of the rare rosy rats. I haven't seen any of these in just a little while, although we have plenty of real fur toys. Uh, rosy rats are sort of a special version of the real fur toy, aren't they? We're going to put one out right now and see if any of these kids want to play with it. I'm just going to leave it in front of me, though, so they have to come to me a little bit. You can see they're all in there climbing up and down the trees. Chevy, Argy, Gordy, thank you all so much for these. Uh, let's see. Those go to the kittens, and these go to me. So I'll just put these over here. See how that all works out? All right. Uh, where are we? Oh, I see. People are saying, wear the socks. Well, I didn't come prepared to wear them now, uh, but let's just try them on. I'm wearing compression socks now, so... I can just put these on over and see how they do. Oh, hey, that might not be so bad, actually. Compression socks don't add a lot. I don't wear them for any medical reason, you know, like people do. Uh, like, I don't know, varicose veins or whatever you might wear a compression sock for. Uh, I just wear them because I like the way they feel. <laughs> I like the long ones. So I do tend to do that quite a bit. And I discovered in the winter, so look, this is actually a very good fit. Uh, I did not, did not see that coming. Uh, oh, the shield's a little high, though. Maybe I just pulled it on too far. I shouldn't have let it go that far. I have giant calves, so it's face is all kind of stretched out. But that's the way it is with every sock. You just get used to it. Um, yeah, so that's actually a pretty decent fit. I think I can wear these uh, if I do. Of course, there are some socks that have been too nice for me to wear. I think most notably, we had those sets of socks that came that are all rolled up like sushi that I have never opened. And they came in one of the very early mailbags way back in um, and then also the socks that Pat sent that had the faculty on them. I think we had socks with all the faculty on them. And those are also still just sort of set aside in, uh, in socks too nice to wear. Uh, this, I think, I think these are going to end up in the socks too nice to wear category, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. Because I really do like that art. Um, okay. Uh, it's beautiful. Where were we? Oh, wait, these go over here. Okay, keep everything organized. That goes over there. All right. This is uh, full 
of stickers, lots and lots of stickers. I think this is the package from Hell's Elves, right? That has been uh, anticipated. But uh, I covered up that part, so now I can't be completely positive. We're going to have to open it up and see. Also, just guessing how to open it. Uh, I don't know if I guessed right, but oh, there we go. It does open in the end, and that's what counts. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, what is this? This is cute. Oh, it's a bag. Oh, it's a tote bag with doggies on it and hand painted little doggies. I don't, they almost look like they were painted on. No, it's a friend. Okay, but it's very cute. I especially love this guy fetching the, the frisbee with his mouth wide open. Like they're all sort of action, action dogs. None of them are just sitting there being dogs. Oh, except this guy. Okay, what a slacker. Uh, <laughs> super cute. I love it. I love the hand painting of the dogs. I love the style of it. And I love this this sort of uh, teal color to pick for the background too. It's all very appealing. We also have, wow, we got some old movie, uh, like the old serials. Uh, what am I thinking of? I was just talking about Flash Gordon this morning by coincidence. Not exactly the same, but uh, definitely the same idea as Godzilla and Megalon and Rodan in Technicolor. Yeah. Uh, so now the note, <laughs> those are so cool. Ooh, wow, that's why I use a letter opener so you don't get paper cuts. That, that little flower on here surprised me. I was not expecting that. Uh, so on the front of this, we do have very shiny flowers and butterfly. And dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for the love and care you give to these beautiful moms and babies. Enjoy some treats and tchotchkes as a token of appreciation. Uh, love and thanks, Cecilia. All right, Cecilia. Sorry, I that. I don't. This is the one that's helpful. Okay, the one that says sign on it. Yes, I should have remembered that. Okay, Cecilia, I saw that too. Thank you very much. And look at these little balled up uh, tissue papers that you'd use for packing material. Those are going to go somewhere where the kittens can play and then right now. I can't, probably can't get them into that blue ship from here. So I'm going to put them in this one to start. What if we put them all up in the bubble? Oh man, they don't go up there too often, but they do go up there once in a while. Okay, we're just going to throw those all around and look at that. Now we get to the bottom of it and underneath the, <laughs> the colorful tissue, Splotch is playing with that Rosie the Rat over there, but probably none of the cameras can quite pick it up. Uh, but she's like standing up and, and throwing it around and uh, maybe about to put push it under the door if she's not careful. Okay, uh, Cecilia, you sent all of these really beautifully wrapped in tissue paper with these cute little uh, tags on them, presents. Look at all of them too. It's so sweet. This says to Dr. DJ from me, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, so let's pull all these out first and then we will open them. <laughs> this is so cute. I like that you've, you've wrapped them, which is really cute and putting in way too much effort. Uh, and then you tag them, which is also really cute and putting in way too much effort. Uh, but you've done it with tissue paper, which uh, is also very cute because then it seems like here you've done something that's more for the kittens, really. If we had all the time in the world, we could just leave these here and see how long it took the kittens to open them. Um, but for now, I'm just going to toss that back there. And then a little bit later, maybe we can get that all put into the spaceships. I like that you set all the blue out and just used the warm colors and the green, probably so I could use the blue myself. That was thoughtful, too. Uh, to Dr. DJ from me. All right, so Dr. DJ has an extremely long weekend. Uh, she switched weekends with somebody so that she can get all the rest of her weekends for the rest of her time as a resident uh, out of the way this weekend and next weekend. So she probably won't be around too much this weekend. Uh, and then I think she's also working long hours the next two weeks, uh, but I, she will definitely get these shortbread Scotty dogs, which are so cute, Scottish Scotties. It's too perfect. And she does like the shortbread, as I'm sure you know. Um, so thank you for that. Um, what was I saying about her? Uh, 
uh, working late weekends, uh, residency. Oh, oh, I did. I know people have asked for a while, and I've never been entirely sure, but I did ask recently myself. Uh, so now I know for sure that she switches from being a resident to her fellowship in June. Uh, June. So uh, that's that's when that happens. Uh, so we know she's she doesn't unless you know she gets rescheduled or something doesn't have to work any more weekends after next weekend until June, which is nice. Uh, so this says to Mr. A from me, and this is, oh, Harry and David Butterscotch Caramel Moose Munch Coffee. Wow, that sounds really good. Can I get, uh... oh, oh, I see, yeah, oh, it does smell, it does, does smell kind of moose tracky. That's, uh, that's super, super awesome. Thank you. My mouth is watering. I got coffee right here. I should have a little bit of that. Mm. Awesome. Okay. This is the one that says to Dr. DJ, and uh, it's in a different bag with uh, wrapped up in a little bubble wrap. Oh, I see, and one of them fell right out, so I'm definitely doing a good job taking care of it. This is a tiny little lion sculpture that is painted. Uh, it looks vaguely familiar. I think that we have, uh, maybe this is a set uh, of something that is collectible that we have a couple of that people have sent to us in the past, because the style, the size, and the made in England uh, all look vaguely familiar. Oh, oh, wow. And here's its little matching buddy. Oh, these are so cute. Uh, oh, maybe there's a name on this one. It says, no, the name is, oh, it says Wade England. Ah, that doesn't say made at all. It definitely says Wade. And then it says England. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, I, I'd assume Wade, yeah, Wade England, Wade England. All right, that must be the name, not where it's made at all. I wonder if he's in England or if it's just coincidence or, uh, I don't know. Nonetheless, those are really cute. They're super detailed. They're very, very tiny. Uh, maybe I can get out the very tiny camera and show everybody. Uh, maybe we'll kind of be able to see where it says Wade instead of Made. Glad I looked. I don't know if you will or not. Those are very, very small. I don't have anything here for scale uh, whatsoever. Nothing that, that makes a good scale. Sorry. Uh, but they're very tiny. Here, I'm just moving my finger there. I'm sure I can go right next to them. So, yes, yeah, super tiny. They're also very, very pretty. I like them a lot. I think DJ will like them. I'll have to look up way to England. All right. Just missed a call from the vet. I want to just check my schedule to make sure that we have something scheduled at the vet because they always call to remind. Um, do we? No, we don't. Uh, it must have been something. Well, they'll leave a message and I'll check on it. It must have been results of something, I hope. Okay, next up, uh, Mr. A. All right, to Mr. A. Oh, the little schoolboy cookies. Wow. Did I talk about these at some point? Because these were definitely something that I have enjoyed quite a bit. Um, my stepfather, I know uh, he doesn't get mentioned very often. My stepfather was a big fan of those and introduced them to me uh, when I was a teenager. And uh, he was, I guess he was the one that was the big fan of them because he just sang their phrases like to no end. But they're special to me then for that reason. And also they happen to be really good. <laughs> so they've got that going for them too. Uh, thank you for that. Wow. Okay, to Mr. A, this one is, oh, it's a little tiny Bob Ross bobblehead. Oh, it says with sound. Wow, I can't imagine what sound it would make. Ten different wise and witty sayings from the art master. Oh, that's cute. Well, I'd get it out and do it right now, but maybe we'll save that for later. It's super cute. Oh, and on the bottom, some uh, sound advice, too. It says, do not mix old and new batteries. Yes. Okay, well, that's very good to know. Okay, uh, we'll put the Bob Ross right there. That is so cute. Uh, it says it says Deluxe Mega Kit on the top for some reason. I wonder what makes it Deluxe Mega. Oh, oh, it comes with a little tiny, not just the bobblehead, but a tiny little flip book with Ross's landscapes in it. So there's the bobblehead, and there's a little art book in it as well. How cute. This is to Mr. A. Ooh, toffee, almond, dark chocolate. Oh, my goodness. All right. Good. Well, 
Uh, I, I wanted some sweets in the house, even though I shouldn't have them. So uh, you're working with me against me there. I like it. So Dr. DJ, ooh, butter toffee caramels. Sea salt toffee with butter caramels. Oh, man, that sounds really good. And then finally, to Dr. DJ, we have, ooh, more caramels. Oh, look at those long... Uh, salted caramels, Annie B's chef driven small batch sea salt caramels. Wow, these look really fancy. I, I'd like to try some of these myself, and I'm sure DJ will let me. Because the uh, fact about DJ and her sweet consumption is that she is she's very reserved about it. Somehow she has this ability that I have never had to uh, you know, take one of something or take a bite of something and say that was enough say that was enough i really liked it it was good and i've had the experience and that was enough uh, i don't think that that's something ever in my life i have been able to do very well uh usually for me if there's something i like then i just i just want to have all of it uh all of it you know and all the time too it's definitely led to some issues <laughs> through, uh, over time in my past um but uh, these days uh, I'm still the same way, but I tend to keep it limited to things uh, like chocolate and candy that uh, aren't great for me, but aren't the worst things either. I'm going to put each of these lions in the bottom of these socks and then forget about them and never find them. I just want to say that now. No, that's not true. I won't forget about them. I'm just making sure that they stay safe for the trip upstairs. Okay, now what's next here? That was amazing. Cecilia, thank you so much for all of that. Uh, I think the box now is ready to go over there. And next up we have, well, this is very obviously um, from Lisa G. I can tell because it is covered in those little Kildan uh, cat stickers. And I especially noticed the one that's on top, uh, uh, Kleben, I mean, um, the one that's on top. This one is very surreal. It has brightly colored cats that appear to be flying over a surrealist desert landscape with some sort of uh, stylized like joshua tree type things in the background um and the, the reason that it caught my eye uh i guess is because i'm so used to his art being kind of whimsical uh, but not like straight up surreal and i really like that that surrealism touch uh, and it makes me wonder what's going on. Oh, they're not just flying. They're bouncing on their spring tails. I see that they have tails that are springs, and they're using those to bounce around in groups. There's another group back here. Um, anyway, I just I thought that one was interesting and in that it was a little bit different from what you normally get to see from him. Uh, and I like it. I like that. Not just because it's different, but because it's different in a way that happens to also appeal to me. There's a kitten in that box, so I was hoping to move it so we could see some of that action while we're opening things. So I guess maybe I should just uh, put a picture of that uh, thing on uh, Discord real quick in case it wasn't real clear what I was talking about. Okay, that should work. I also see a picture of the Bob Ross thing got posted to Discord. That's very cute. <laughs> Happy little clouds. Uh, okay. Well, this looks like something a cat would want to play with, too. Look at that. It's like a mesh, but it's made of paper. That looks like a fun one. Put that right here in the tissue, uh, the, the makeshift tissue pit. Yes, that's what that is. And as we might expect, these look like the laser pointers with the little baby pictures on them. And inside we have this really cute uh, drawing, ink and pen, uh, of a annual holiday photo. And it's a bunch of cats and dogs that appear to be out at a beach and the buried one in the sand like you do. And they're eating ice cream and playing. Very fun. Uh, and then inside it says... Hello, Kitten Academy Enclosed. You'll find the usual endowments for the puppy class. I hope they get as much enjoyment with them as Beans and Cheeto do. As always, thank you for taking such wonderful care of the mom, cats, and kittens. As always, uh, Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. P.S. I hope the puppy kittens don't grow up to have an existential crisis being named after dogs. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, I feel the same way. This is so cute. I love the pictures. That you, you probably have to do a little extra work to choose your pictures this time. Well, I don't know. You always end up picking pictures uh, that are from just whatever's going on. Uh, so uh, I haven't published any pictures of these kids yet. Oh my gosh, I know. What's wrong with me? Uh, anyway, uh, we, we will get to it. They are like most, all the pictures are on the website and I just need to do like a tiny bit of editing and like click a couple buttons and I just haven't been able to get to it. Uh, it's craziness. Uh, but enough about that. I love the pictures. I love the fact that you put a little baby picture of each of them on there. And I think the laser pointers do make wonderful toys. So that's fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for doing that for these guys and for everybody. Oh, it says puppy class endowments right on it. Wow, that is even more perfect. People uh, are really starting to get the hang of uh, my process as much as calling it that really gives way too much credit. Like it was just sounds way too deliberate. Uh, I want to see if I can get a camera over here that will look down into this box because they keep having a little bit of fun in here. Let me just see if this camera next to me will make it. Of course, here it's just about to jump out of there. But... Oh, this camera's broken, so it doesn't really point down enough either. It does point down enough, just enough. So it won't focus right. Wow, this camera's really got some issues. It's falling apart. I probably just broke the focus when I cleaned it or something. I was just confused because I can manually focus. All right, enough of that. That's tactical. Who cares? All right. Uh, if the kittens come back, I can put it on. And if they don't, that's fine too. All right. Uh, let's keep going. This says box two of two. So I'm going to set that back and open box one of two first. From Busy Cat. Yes, Busy Cat. Uh, so I think we all know what to expect to smell in here. And that is draft. Let's find out. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh, I spilled my coffee. Okay. Well, it's got the, it's in the cup. No, but still managed to spill a couple drops. Fortunately, it didn't go anywhere. Okay. This is so cool. This is a letterhead that has a Kitten Academy stamps on it. It says, hi there, Mr. A and Dr. DJ and closed her quilts for River in the Tiny Townies. River's quilt is made in the new KA logo fabric I ordered a while ago. I plan on using it now for all the KA mom cats. Kittens will still get their regular quilts. I had to split them up into two boxes, one for the boys, one for the girls. There's also an extra KA logo quilt for you to use around the academy. I also added KA keychains for everyone and attached them to the quilt tags with love from Busy Cat. Busy Cat, that is spectacular. And I can already see this fabric through the tissue paper. It looks really cool. Wow, I had no idea. Um, so this says, for use at Kitten Academy as you see fit. Wow. And it's, uh, it's very nice. It's like, um, it is, uh, oh gosh, I don't know what you call it. I guess it's kind of a flannel, um, but it has sort of a, a more knit to it, I think. I don't, I don't know what my fingers are telling me here. Uh, anyway, it's very nice and it smells like draft and it says for use at Kitten Academy. And as you can see, it is the Kitten Academy logo. Uh, just repeated. How cute is that? Um, and then we have uh, one for River that matches it, but also comes with a keychain. These keychains, by the way, are super nice. And uh, you may have noticed I used one of them because uh, I had them in the garage on our, we've got like this key rack and I had them on it. And uh, it was right there when I needed something to sort of act to secure the bird feeder uh, wires as I was putting them together. And so I put the logo on there and it's, it's perfect as a, as this because it faces the camera and it hangs right above the bird feeder. And so the rare key times when the bird feeder's on the stream, it is really representing the logo, which I think is cute. It's it made it the perfect thing for that. Um, so let's see, that's river. This is Villa has these cute uh, little hearts and it says meow and purr. And then we have uh, chalet. Oh, very pretty pink with these cute little smiley kittens on it. There we go. And a purple um, uh, logo uh, keychain to match Chalet's collar. How cute. Okay, so we're going to take all of these fluffy things 
and put them right back in here if we can, maybe not quite. Oh, also, we'll take the Kitten Academy one and set it aside, because I know, uh, hey, we got to rep that brand, right? There we go. I've never been a fan of self-promotion, and I think, I think that's actually to my detriment. Uh, I think it is something that we could all uh, stand to do a little bit more of. Not egregious, but just the right amount, which is probably more uh, than what we do. So uh, but the logo is nice, not too, uh, not too egregious. So that's a nice way to do it. Okay. Hey, what do you got here, Splotch? Why don't you come over here where everybody can see you if you're going to play with this? Come, come get it. Oh, this is so cute. I like this. Uh, this looks like a similar cartoon kitty print. I thought that was, almost thought that electronic bird was like a, a cat for a second, or just a split second. That's why I went quiet. Uh, so the cute little smiley faces. Um, then Lodge. Oh, this is even cuter. Wow, each one better than the last. I like this because the, some of the kitties, or this kitty here caught my eye. It's got like this little cowlick sticking out on his forehead. It's very cute. Uh, Bumby then, or Bungalow, I'm sorry, Bung, Bungy. Uh, this is a cute tag with two it's a little sleepy kitty on it. And uh, it's got uh, pink mice and little balls of yarn and fish bones. And it says meow. These are just all completely adorable. And I know that the adopters are going to love these blankets. And all the care and draft that you put into them. Uh, it's wonderful. So thank you for that. Busy Cat, it's, they're spectacular. And I love that you've done this for so many classes. And I'm going to put your note right back on top uh, so that when I go to hand these out, I get to see it again. And that's fun for me. So, uh, But uh, these are nicely, tightly packed boxes. They got everything they need already in them. And I'm just going to uh, do it like this. And then just to be safe, I'm going to write uh, townies on it. So let's do that. Townies. That really looks like I wrote an E, but that's okay. Whoa, whoa. Perfect. Let's not, this this coffee cup is, uh, it's fun, but I keep just barely bumping it. I don't think it's as sturdy as some. I think it's just too full, it's too top heavy because there's too much coffee. And that's something I can do something about. Isn't that right, Splash? What do you got? Do it. Boy, she loves that rosy rat. If she does go home tomorrow, maybe she should take this one with her. Just because it's already out and convenient, I mean. She probably has some in her endowments, though. I don't even remember now everything that went in there. It was a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do this. This is the one from Hell's Dells now. This one is definitely it. It still says Hell's Dells on the front. I did not cover that part up. I also didn't cover up where the, the post office wrote sign in quotes all over on every side. They didn't want anybody to miss the fact that I had to sign for this package. But the fact that they put it in quotes really it makes me wonder like what they were trying to convey with the scare quotes. Are they trying to say, he needs to sign for this package. This is not a sign. I'm not trying to label this as being a sign. I want you to know he needs to put down his signature. So we're going to put it in quotes so nobody gets confused. Or... They mean it the exact opposite way. Like, hey, uh, you were asking for a sign. Um, this is not about signing for the package. I'm just putting a sign on here. Look, I don't know. I don't know why it's in quotes, uh, but it is every time. And I did sign for it, by the way, <laughs> in case you were curious. I did. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know what this box is, uh, but inside it says Bienvenue. And a little uh, a drawing of uh, people shopping, I think. Um, okay, this says, Hi, Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens enclosed are gifts for River and her flukes. I'll send gifts for the puppies in a few weeks. All the toys have catnip or silver vine in. Love, Hell's Dells and Jasper. Aw, Hell's Dells and Jasper. And then you have a cat here who's looking at a, uh, I think it's, it's almost cut off. Um, the letterhead has what appears to be a cat looking at a lotus blossom floating in a bowl, which is a very Indian thing to do. Uh, I don't know where else that might be a common thing to do, 
but in India, uh, at least in DJ's part of India, I should say, whenever I say in India, you've got it in your head go, it's a big place. You know, it's like people talk about America or the United States. No matter what you say, it's not as universally true as you might think. Um, so anyway, in DJ's part of India, it's a very common thing to go into, say, a store or a restaurant and see a big, usually brass bowl, uh, partly filled with water. And then they have all these, usually it's a whole bunch of pretty flowers, but the centerpiece is a lotus. Or if it's a really expensive place, then there'll be a whole bunch of lotuses. Uh, lotus, lotus, I am lotus. Anyway, uh, blossoms floating on the bowl. And it's just, uh, it's a thing. It's, uh, it's really cute, and that's exactly what that, that cat is looking at. Um, all right, mini eggs, Cadbury mini eggs for you. Oh, well, these aren't going to last all day. Thank you. <laughs> They're awesome. I have, I have a real weakness for Cadbury mini eggs in particular. Uh, thank you for that. So townies endowments. Uh, this says, oh, I see. Instead of labeling each bag, so you've sent all these different bags. Instead of labeling each bag by kitten, you've labeled them by what they are then to be distributed. Uh, which is so cool. Uh, Townies Endowments. And this one is, uh, it says Merry Christmas. Oh, it's so cute. These are like weird shaped animal, uh, little catnip thingies. Look at that. We got some shells and mice and a weird bird. What is that? Some kind of gull. Uh, and this is either a snake or an alligator. He's got an arm, so he must be an alligator or something. So cute. Okay, those are just adorable. I love the little uh, googly eyes on them. And then we have a cigar and silver vine for river. Whoa. Wow. Oh, wow. That's big. Look at that thing. Uh, jolly Moggy silver vine stuffed animal. And oh, look at these little. Wow. These are the fanciest little silver vine sticks I've ever seen. It's a big, fat stick. It's drilled through. And then they put raffia inside and throughout and wrapped it with a piece of string and uh, tied a little silver vine. Oh, no, I recognize this. This is a silver vine bud right here. DJ recently discovered these. She's got had a bag of them. They're almost entirely gone now. And everybody here has been crazy for them. The faculty, all the mom cats, the kittens, maybe not so much yet, although they are just the right size for a toy. Uh, those things are spectacular. And to see a toy that combines the stick and the bud and the extra pieces, that's that's quality. That's going to be fantastic. Plus a pink cigar, because why not? Very sweet. Wow, those are those are cool. Those little silver vine things are very, very nice. Uh, all of it's very nice, but that is uh, that's cool. All right, uh, mice for townies. Let's see what the mice for townies look like. Oh, oh, exactly. Okay, animal print mice for townies. There we go. Very cute. Plus townies endowments say. Oh, these are, I recognize some Yao catnip, little stinky sardines. The uh, Yao catnip is very good stuff. And the stinky sardines have been, uh, ooh, I can smell that since I just shuffled those around. Now the whole room's full of this catnip smell. I think she smelled it too. Uh, those are very good. This says vegetables for deployment. Please give one to Scotty. Mm. All right, Scotty does need her vegetables in the food pyramid. We have an eggplant. We have a cucumber or a pickle. I guess cucumber is the vegetable. So that works out. And uh, some sort of a red hot pepper. Wow, those are pretty cool. Uh, which one of these is most going to work for Scotty, I wonder? Uh, I think she's kind of peppery, maybe. No, River's more peppery. Uh, we'll give her the eggplant, because why not? So we'll take this one upstairs for Scotty. I'll put an eggplant right here in my pocket. Uh, and then these two, I guess, we can, we're just going to toss them out. It says for deployment. Why not? Whoa, oh, that was a terrible throw. Wow. That's more like it. That one just, the first, the, the cucumber uh, ended up on the bench there. That's, that's not a bad place for it, actually. All right, so we'll put this right here. Next up, we have English biscuits. Five for endowments and three for deployment. What are English biscuits? Are those cookies? So they are. Uh, this one just says nice, and this one says custard cream on it. Wow, well, I know who that's got to go to. That one's going to have to be deployed. These ones say bourbon. Uh, we have a second custard cream. Okay, I think we got to keep both the custard creams and nice. So I know we didn't split them up evenly, but those are the three for deployment, five for endowment. We can put right back in there. Okay. 
And uh, I'm gonna have to put the custard creams, I think, in the nice in my pocket with the eggplant to bring upstairs. So that pocket's getting pretty full, isn't it? Okay, uh, random choice for deployment. All right, I've deployed enough for the moment. But we'll hang on to these for random use. What do we got? Oh, wow, that is quite a collection. Oh, no, these are too cute. Oh, these are too cool. Look at this. This is a silly little black cat head with a string, a bell, and a feather. <gasps> and you can see it is definitely getting some attention. There's two of those. Wow. Okay, I guess I was wrong about when I was going to deploy all this stuff. <laughs> One of these can be deployed right now. But they have different sounds, so I don't know if the camera picks that up, but the bells are very different tones. I think we're going to take the lower one here. You take the lower tone bell, this one right here. Okay, take that with you. Okay. Uh, we also have a little dragon and, oh, a squid. That's a cool-looking squid. Um, and uh, a weird a dragon with a crown. Oh, he is. He's wearing a crown. Uh, we have this happy-looking crinkly butterfly. We have this actual fur mouse with a not actual, well, maybe actual leather tail. All right. And we got this little sizzle guy. The alien, he was already here. He didn't come with this. Oh, oh, wow. These two are really cool, too. These are like little rubber uh, spiky balls. They're like a Charlie ball made out of, uh, you know, a rubbery plasticky material instead of a uh, fabric material. And they've got a nice weight to them, too. I think you could really throw these things around, and I'm tempted to. I really want to. Uh, on the other hand, I think they're a good size and toy, um, maybe for the kids upstairs to play with a little bit. Ooh. Oh, wow. And I see on each of these, no? Yes, on each of these, one of the things is molded. Oh, I got to hang on to these. These are too valuable. Because on each of these little uh, spiky, bristly balls, one uh, set of the little spiky bristles is molded into a loop, which means you can put these on the end of one of those cat wands. That's too much. I, I need those to stay with me and uh, be put on a cat wand for their first introduction. So that's awesome. I think they already got tired of the bell. If I'm not jingling it around, they don't know what to do, kids. Oh, and there's another reel for a mouse here, too. They were trying to steal this one. We're going to save that just a, just a little. Oh, you know what? It matches. Look, she was playing with it. It matches her collar and her. Look at that. It's got a purple tail and a gray body. It is it is Chalet the mouse. Look, it's mini Chalet. They match so perfectly. I can't. I can't even. No, I'm sorry. This, is, this one goes with Chalet. This is for her. She doesn't even want it anymore. You want it anymore? We'll play something else. She does want it. Okay. All right. We'll leave the chalet mouse out for chalet. That's too perfect. And then uh, finally, Townie's Endowment. And Townie's Endowment contains, oh, a whole bunch of those mice. Oh, she has maybe one for Endowment. Look, here's one with a blue tail. Uh, here's one with no tail. Here's one with a green tail for Lodge. Here's one with a sort of maroon red tail. And here's another one with no tail. How cute are all those? Wow. Uh, I should take, uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, right? Two, three, four, five. I am, despite the fact that you've set out everything else, uh, going to steal one of the, the other one, the non-purple one, right? Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to steal this one and put it in there, too, so we have six, and then I can also toss one to uh, River. Her. so cute all right this thing came and went come on you guys aren't playing with any of these things unless i make them interesting are you that's fine that's fine cool that's fine that's what i'm here to do so it all works out uh hell's dells that was spectacular thank you i'm very excited about those toys as you can tell so we have another box here that also has cleave and art on it it must also yes be from lisa g so it says Let's dig in here and see what we could have from Lisa G. Uh, that's not just the more lasers. Maybe it is big lasers. Maybe we got the big lasers in this one. Close. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I drop a piece of paper on you, yours? Gosh, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, no, okay to read online. All right, we like all that. Let's see what it says. Oh, this is a cute photo of two cats looking out a window in what appears to be like an old uh, wooden uh, farmhouse or something. The, the, the uh, workmanship on the sill is uh, not bad, but very old and the paint's all peeling and stuff. So I'm going to say an old farmhouse or, or barn even. 
Uh, and it says, happy is the home with at least one cat. Uh, and uh, it says, hello, Kitten Academy. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's titled Double Trouble. Okay. Uh, hello, Kitten Academy. I saw this item in a store and thought, how can KA have a puppy class without representation from one of the most famous puppies of all time, Snoopy? I hope you can use this in some way in the puppy classroom, maybe on the beanbag chair or in any way you see fit. Thanks for all you do for our furry friends from Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. Aw, and here it is. It's Joe Cool. Oh, look at that. Um, so that is uh, Snoopy. He is a little puppy, and he's showing all of his various emotions and actions. Uh, so that is really cute, and it's in this sort of uh, almost like a moss uh, or minty green color uh, that I like. I like that quite a bit. I think that's going to be fun to put out for the puppies, and I think they will like it. I think everybody will get the joke, and I'm going to put it in this bag of things that I need to, uh, to uh, arrange around the house and various other items. So right in there. How about that? That's perfect. In the puppy bag. I do think that'll be fun to put out with them. Thank you so much, Lisa G. Uh, and there's your other box. Look at that. Let's put all this stuff together. Perfect. Okay. They're still playing with uh, Chalet's little purple and gray for Chalet, mini Chalet mouse, but it's not Chalet playing with it. It looks like I can't see the collar. Is that, it's got to be Lodge. It is Lodge. Yes, I see. Okay. Lodges. And Chalet is over here looking at for anything else to play with. Uh, hang, on. hang on, he dropped it for a second. Let me steal it. Oh, oh, he's got a, he's got a, he had a piece of tape or sticker stuck on his foot and it scared him for a sec. He shook it off though. He's fine. Good job, Lodge. Uh, Chalet? Are you Chalet? Yes, you are. You want this? Is it your mouse? No. Just because it looks like you. Not for any good reason, I guess. Okay. Uh, Dragon Lady. All right, Dragon Lady. What do we got? Oh, treats. These, I think, are leftovers from last week, probably. Uh, maybe a little bit of delayed shipping. We have Blue Bursts in two different flavors that I'm sure are intended to go uh, as we see fit, like so many of Dragon Lady's things. That's Dragon Lady's plural, as we learned. Uh, so there we go. Let's put these in the pile of notes and papers. There we go. That goes over here. And... We'll put these in the uh, sort of 2D deployer and gal uh, box for that. We just have a pile. We kind of worked on getting a box for that. Okay, we'll get there. For now, this back here. Actually, this might be a good box. Endowments, endowments, uh, as we see fits. A little bit of coffee, and then this is so cute. But I'm gonna put it all in here too. There we go. Deployments and endowments, all mixed up. Perfect. That's a good, good little uh, moment of organization there. Oh, my Cadbury mini eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh, Oakley, Oakley. We're doing really well here. Uh, not too much stuff left, actually. This is a real moderate-sized mailbag, which I'm happy about. This is we're sort of I think coming back to normal mailbag sizes after Christmas, uh, which is good. So this says from Lisa Four Kittens. All right, Lisa Four Kittens. Let's find out here. Hmm, well, we got all the Amazon paper, but no notes. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, this is cool. Two magic cat tracks, please combine to route under S shaped S or around cat trees. We found out that the figure eight isn't getting much play. Uh, so this is an upgraded ball track for us to try out. And it, oh, and there, I guess, two upgraded uh, ball tracks for us to try out. Magic cat flexible track. Uh, that sounds really fun, and it says each box has eight feet of track and two balls. Wow. Uh, eight feet of track and oh, oh two balls. Uh, okay, um, eight feet of track and two balls. Oh, hang on. 
I just got to check. I think I threw the box, and uh, at the same time I tossed it, Chalet decided to walk directly under where I was tossing it, and it just all came together. Uh, she was surprised. She was offended, but she wasn't hurt. So, just offended. She's okay. All right. So, uh, this looks really cool. So, that gives us 16 feet of track and four balls, uh, which I think is, is probably as much as anybody needs. And I'm excited to try that out. Uh, I, these, somebody sent these, maybe it was also you, uh, recently for, I guess, endowments or something because it didn't get deployed. At my memory, you know, not what it used to be, at least not the way I remember it. Uh, so uh, I do remember, though, being very excited about them and thinking they looked really cool. And so here we are now with a couple of them to play with ourselves. And I'm excited, and I'll tell you who else is probably excited or would be if he knew, is uh, Ari, believe it or not. Well, maybe Ari and Maggie, because Maggie's of the whole faculty, the one most likely to be caught playing with the figure eight uh, ball track. And Ari is the one that has always liked the other kinds of ball tracks, the ones that are just like a round circle with a ball in it, you know, like uh, the kind that aren't really movable. And this seems like it's kind of going to have a feeling that's right in between the two of them. So uh, also it's got a picture of a cat on the front that looks a lot like an Ari, uh, you know, not entirely, but a lot. Uh, especially on this side. Uh, so, yeah, we'll check it out. I'm very excited. Thank you so much, uh, Lisa, for kittens. I, I'm, I'm excited to play with it one way or the other. Hopefully the kittens will like it too. You know, the thing about kittens is, I've said this a million times, they just, they like novelty and uh, anything is really fun when it's new. And then, uh, depending on how fast it drops off in, in popularity, I think tells you a lot about how inherently attractive it is to the kittens. So like anything, they're going to check it out right away. And then how, how much time they spend going back to it, even when you're not reinforcing that, uh, it tells you, you know, whether it's something that, that really has kitten power to it. Uh, and I don't know, uh, I don't know what I was trying to get to there, but I think, I think there's that idea too. Like, especially like, you notice, um, things like the Yao Cat, if they go back to a lot, so you know that that's good, whether it's novel or not, the Yao Cat, if they're going to enjoy it. And then we notice then um, that the Dr. Pussum's catnip is like that, but even more so. Like they'll go back to Dr. Pussum's for months. Uh, I think the oldest one we've got might be like a year old and they still like to play with it sometimes. And that blows my mind. I, I don't think you would find another toy that has been around the academy for that long that still is something that they, they go to to play this the same toy i mean you know it's whatever anyway uh yeah very exciting uh, i have no idea what this is these look so interesting <laughs> i don't know what they are uh oh hmm uh, all right well hang on let's find the notes first so we can see what's going on hmm. okay so first off oyster Oyster kitten food platter when the world of fancy feast is their oyster. Hmm. All right, that's a cute. Oh, this is a nice tray. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Well, actually, it is very interesting. It feels like maybe it's a little thin, maybe it's a little shallow, but maybe it's perfect for kittens to eat off of. Look at that. You know, I always like a flat plate that's easy for the kittens to get to. It doesn't have a lip that they're going to chew on. Um, this this might turn out to be even better than the three, uh, you know, unit trays that we use upstairs right now. I'm definitely going to give it a try either way. I like it. I like it a lot as an idea. Uh, so I'm going to put that back here. That's Lisa four kittens that sent those. Uh, it says oyster plate. I expected something to look like an oyster, especially since there's a picture of an oyster here. Uh, but no, it's just kind of the shape of those the little things, right? Which is fine. Uh, you said here we have a wobbly pineapple toy because K.A. can never have too many pineapples. Wasn't that true? You know, I was thinking about, even though the pineapples for us, even though the pineapples for us are sort of a become they've become sort of a symbol of the mom cats and the giving birth and stuff i was thinking about taking a couple of pineapple things that we've been sent whoop, uh, probably not this one uh, but some of them and tossing them into the endowment for splotch here because as you might remember 
Uh, do I have my lore wrong? Or Squatch was the first kitten born, right, to Mural, and the one that then was born in the pineapple before we got her out and moved her to her box, right? So, uh, so it might be fun to send a little pineapple thing or two home with her, too. Maybe even that pineapple bed. You know, it has gotten enough use by now. That would be a good choice. I might put it in her room today and see if she spends any time at all looking at it. And if she does, send it home with her. That makes too, too much sense, right? Anyway, this thing is so cute. I love it. It is a little wobbly toy. It's made of rubber. It has a golden colored Mylar ball in it that you can pull out and replace if you really wanted to. And then on the top, it's got a little bit of felt to make the pineapple uh, leaves. Oh, hi, you like that, huh? You like that? Well, maybe this is the pineapple for you, or maybe you just like everything right now because it's new and I'm moving it around uh, like this. See? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We also have, oh, a fidget spinner five pack. Spacey rainbow fun for the tiny townies. Not designed as cat toys, supervised play only. Aw, that's so cute. Okay, well, that's what this is. Oh, these are LED light-up fidget spinners, though. I didn't know they made one. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They would make ones that light up. That sounds too fun. Um, I'm not going to open that yet, but that's super cool. And then uh, Oyster Kitten. Okay, oh, no, we saw that one. Uh, let's see, we need a note for something else, though. But there are a couple items here. Uh, for the blue space theme, please deploy one for the tiny townies, one for the puppies once they are big enough. Okay, I guess that's for this then. Oh, what is this though? It's the same Chihuahua brand as the long tail mouse, but it's not the box for the long tail mouse. It is, oh, all right. Oh, it's these weird mice. Hmm. Oh, it's two of them, I see. That's why you said, oh, with bells. Look at that, they're just funny looking mice that are wearing a shirt and uh, they're wearing a collar with a bell on. And in the bottom, they have a little Velcro pocket for catnip that has catnip sealed in a pouch. <laughs> Let me just break open the pouch and then I'll just leave it in there. Uh, oh, it feels like the catnip is that compressed catnip too. Yeah, it is. It's a little puck. A couple little pucks. I see that. I'm just going to use their compressed catnip, even though the compressed stuff is usually, it doesn't out gas as well as, um, you know, loose catnip would. So it's not as attractive in general. Uh, but we'll leave it in there for now, and then I can replace it with uh, some Yao, or even some, we've got some loose Dr. Pussums that someone sent. Oh, I just noticed the compressed catnip is shaped like cat heads, though, so that's a nice touch. Uh, not, compressed catnip is usually just not, not worth it, uh, in my opinion. But uh, that's a cute way to do it, and uh, like I said, we can always throw some Dr. Pussums in there if nobody goes for these things. But I think between the bell and the size and uh, how cute they are, they're soft too. They're going to be a fun toy for a while. So one of these goes in my pocket with the uh, with my uh, eggplant there so that we can bring it upstairs. Okay. Now here's the last thing that I'm, I'm just, I need to know what it is. Oh, and I don't see a note for it. Did I lose the note? Dang. Was it a mistake? Maybe it doesn't mean anything to us. Let's find out. No, here they are. Okay, it says Thread Saver is not designed as cat toys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, is that what these are for? Do you put these around a spool of thread to uh, keep the thread from unwinding afterwards, right? Is that is that what they're for? I would assume. I mean, that's always been a problem, uh, even for me. As some of the nice thread spools, you find that little thing at the top that you can stick the thread into, but some of them don't, and then you're always like, how do I keep this from getting all either tangled up? Uh, anyway, our rescue fosters think these are fun. Maybe marinade and catnip. Check that no one is nibbling off any pieces. Supervised play only from Lisa for kittens. Well, Lisa for kittens, I think not only are these kind of cool to look at, kind of cool to play with. If the kittens don't like them, I actually uh, have a whole bunch of uh, spools and thread that could probably use something like this. Uh, so thank you for that. And um, I do think they'll like them. But the, the coolest thing about them, of course, is everybody, when the, when the townies first showed up, everybody was talking about how their tails, uh, they, they always curl their tails up into a little, like a fern. It looks like one of those curled up ferns. Um, and I don't think they do that quite as much anymore, although they still do, especially like if you were to scruff one of them. That's just the way the tail, see, it goes right under when you scruff a little kitten. 
because uh, they want to kind of get into a package that mom can carry around. Um, so uh, anyway, that's, that makes me think of these kittens like twice over because they do sort of resemble the way that they would hold their little tails when they were little, especially. So uh, for now, I, I just took all these out of the bag for no reason. Oh, but wait, the Chihuahua mice came with a bag also for no reason. So I'm going to put them in the Chihuahua bag because that's even nicer, isn't it? And then everything comes together. <gasps> Too perfect. Okay, I don't know exactly what to do with these, but I'm going to put them in with the deployment stuff. Let's leave one out for fun. I don't know if they have to be supervised. It is just a piece of uh, shaped, uh, sort of a hard silicone rubber. Uh, whoops. Okay, I guess that'll be the one we leave out. <laughs> uh, they do. And I don't think they're dangerous. Even if they did bite off pieces, any piece small enough to small, swallow would be small enough to pass through, I'm sure. Uh, and I don't think they will bite off pieces. I've never seen them do that to that kind of thing. Um, and who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll, of course, we'll keep an eye on it to make sure that that stays true. For now, over there in the endowments. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Three more boxes. Three more. Hang on. Three more just out of reach boxes. Just barely out of reach. Oh, that's a nice stretch for my back. Let's just go. Oh, that's good. That is good. Uh, all right, this says Kid Academy, attention, tiny townies and rivers. All right, you guys, are you paying attention? It says right here, you have to pay attention. Nobody's paying attention. I mean, you, Villa. Oh, good stuff, though. Wow. Oh, oh, notes. Okay, there's the notes. The notes say, oh, I asked Etch and Trace what I should give River and the Tiny Towner Townies for their endowments, and Etch said a cat dancer would be nifty, while Trace thought springs were just the thing. The mice are my idea from Laura Tiny Puppy Span. Laura Tiny Puppy Span, that's too cute. So, yes, as you said, uh, you sent the cat dancers, which are always a hit, and I love, uh, I love simple toys that cats are always crazy about. And the cat dancer is one of those. Piece of wire, twist of cardboard, endless fun. Uh, then the springs, similarly, uh, exactly what they sound like, and also always fun. Uh, I've noticed that, uh, well, Splotch is easy. Splotch is one of those kittens that just loves to play all the time with everything. But I have noticed that she's got a couple springs in particular that she seems to go for repeatedly. So a big fan of those things. And then we have the flat mice, which have uh, been a big hit in the past. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I've seen them be such a big hit recently. Have you? Now that I think about it, it seems like it's been a while since the flat mouse was the, the most popular toy in the house, right? Like everything else sort of has, its it comes and it goes. Uh, so maybe they're just in a, in a sort of a, the flat mice aren't cool this season. Or maybe they are and I'm just not paying enough attention. Uh, anyway, that's not to say that these aren't going to be loved because we know they will. Uh, they'll come back in fashion and they'll still be around when they are. <laughs> so that works out just great. Uh, it's all cyclical. Okay, uh, this, so this is all for Townies Endowments, which is so awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it right over here. And then it should be pretty obvious what to do with it. And then we're going to get the knife and look at this from Dragon Lady. All right, Dragon Ladies. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got the fun tunes. All right, cool. These are a big hit. And uh, just like the, the springs and stuff, I'm once always a hit. Now, I do notice something about this. I think some people and even some manufacturers of these might be uh, unaware of some of the best ways to use them. So I'm going to open one, even though these are perfectly sized for going to the endowments. Uh, a lot of people send us those giant packages of them, and then I split them up for the endowments. I just grab a handful you know, of these and a handful of those and throw them in there. And that works out very well. Uh, but these, I won't even have to unpackage. I can just throw a whole package of these into each endowment. So the thing I was going to say is uh, the 
one of the best ways to use these is if you just push the ends in, then you get the familiar fun tube like that. And I think they have a lot more fun for the kittens this way than they do this way. Uh, with the ends turned in, it's a toy that has a little three-dimensionality to it. They can pick it up easier. They can run around with it easier. And you see them play with these things constantly. I mean, nonstop. Even Splotch here can't take her eyes off of it. And I'm going to throw it into the living room and she's going to chase it. She didn't chase it. Whatever. She looked, though. She looked. So that was it. That was something. Um, oh, now she goes for it. That's great. Just a little bit of a delayed reaction. She's like, look, I'm going to make you a liar. Okay, I really want to chase it, but I have to prove you wrong first. Then I'll chase it. Uh, so anyway, this has always been a big hit. Uh, the way that they come... I've never seen a kitten really have too much fun with that. Uh, but these, yes. So that's just my suggestion. Whoops, if you have some and you uh, find that they come like this and you never really thought they were such a hit, uh, that's what you do right there. There you go. Okay, so the rest of these are going in for endowments. Thank you so much, Dragon Lady. Those things are, I mean, seriously, though, fun tubes, one of those things that are a constant, endless source of fun for kittens. And uh, to the point where... They get pushed under doors and under cages and stuff. And every time that I like open the basement door, I find them, a bunch of them. Or uh, the closet doors upstairs, especially fun tubes are one of those things that that's just, that's how you find them. If you want more fun tubes, check your closets. They're probably there. Even if you don't have a cat and you'll be like, where did these come from? I don't know. Wow. Look at this. This is called Chase Meowton. And it is the ball tower, but it's a ball tower that goes, uh, it goes one more. It goes to 11. Well, it goes to four, yeah, but apparently I guess that's four in like a base three system. Hey, what do I know? Um, so it is four levels of cat track. Oh, there we go. Uh, also, I like the color of it. I mean, I'm just a big fan of this sort of teal color. They both are, but this one then is set off with that little extra bit of piping around the edge. Uh, very fancy. Very, very fancy. So Chase Me Out, and that's a new one on me. It is, uh, it's like the ball tower, but they're like, ah, oh, you gotta, you gotta add something. All right, that is a, that's a manufacturer that uh, needs the same kind of novelty that a cat needs, right? <laughs> it works out. Uh, I do like it though, it's cool. It's a cool design and uh, in a way it might even be more visually appealing. I don't know, it looks more, it looks more retro spacey with the extra layer on there, doesn't it? Maybe. Also, uh, Gerber chicken and gravy cat food, exactly the thing that we use. So this says, we hope Puppy Academy kittens enjoy or please use as you see fit. From Tower Tor 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 Gem Two Tor Gem Two. I know it's Tor like Centaur, right? But I don't know how to say the name Tor Gem. I think that's probably right though, right? Tor T B H E A U R Tor Gem. I tried. Uh, okay, hey, uh, that was everything. Look at that. Uh, we made it through mailbag. It's eleven thirty. It feels like ten thirty. So uh, that just flew by for me. I hope you guys had fun like I did. And I am now going to get all this stuff packed up. I'll say thank you one more time. I'll have some coffee. We'll wrap up mailbag. We'll get these kittens to play. Uh, we'll open and close doors. We'll move all the kittens around. It'll be uh, it'll be Kitten Academy. That's Kitten Academy. That's what I'm describing. So let me get to it. And uh, then ooh, afterwards, I will get back to you. Thank you. Here we go. upstairs with me. Uh, what room can we push you in? I think my office is full. We can always move Logan out. Let me do that first. Okay. First one thing, then the other. Let's take some of this stuff out of here. Move Logan out of my office, move you into my office, and then we can open the door and let these, uh, the gate, and let the faculty come play with the kids, which I think will be fun.
Here, Scooby, I don't have time to hang out yet, but you take those new toys. successfully moved Logan to the spare room and Maggie uh, went with him and Ari uh, said spare room, I meant uh, DJ's office so uh, Ari was already there, Maggie and Logan have been added uh, there's a chance Aggie's there too and I just didn't see him because he's always there so the practical upshot of that is I get to put River away and Bumble's already out somewhere Hi, Hey, you can come with me, come on my office for just a couple minutes, all right? Just a little bit. I'll get you some food up there and I'll be patient, all right? Just gotta wait. Let's just get some more of this stuff out of here. Not everybody's open. Doors are open. Shuffled. Oh, this is that. Uh, I don't think this is the same one, but this is the same style as that Dr. Pussums that had been around for almost a year. I do think DJ replaced it just a little while ago.
one section here. I think I'm going to put all the yellow and red paper in the bottom of the rocket here and say, you know, like the, like the ignition, like the fire coming out. Maybe it should probably be around the bottom instead of in the bottom, but in is more fun for the kittens, I think. Anyway, we'll just give the impression. There we go. See if they play with that or not. I do love the fact that you, uh, I mean, I think you, you very clearly saved all those booths so that we could use those around the room here, and that's the opposite of what I seem to be doing. Sorry. Um, but I do appreciate the gesture, and I think uh, probably we'll want to put all the blue stuff in, uh, you know, before DJ gets a chance to um, complain about things not being all uh, in key and color, in the right colors, something, I don't know. Anyway, I guess that my point was I understand what I was supposed to do, and I, I understand that I am not doing it. That's my point. I just want you to know. This little mat, by the way, is great. I do think, I, you know, it didn't get me 100% through the mailbag today, but uh, man, it's nice. It's a, um, probably uh, better than the, uh, than the chair, or my knees for that matter, probably. And with a little adjustment and practice, uh, that might be, might be great. Oh, I see that was a bet calling during mailbag. They want to reschedule the appointment that we have on the 28th, I guess. Uh, Dr. K has to take the morning out to go see uh, people back on the 28th. So that's fine. We can reschedule. That's just, uh, I think they just want to move it to the afternoon. No big deal. I just got to call them and let them know. Unless they're watching. If you're watching, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I still need to know when, so I'll call you guys. <laughs> there. Oh. 
Oh, this goes downstairs. These people are here right now. Come in. That's, uh, I think that's the, I think that's the spay day for River and the Townies, though. So how is that supposed to work? I better check my playlist. Because then if it's spay day, they can't just come in the afternoon for that, can they? Oh, now I gotta check. Oh, no, that's Scotty. Sorry, it wasn't River. Scotty. So that's Scotty on the 28th. That would have been their first appointment on the 28th from Scotty. Yeah, very easy, easy, easy. All right, let me get rid of this. Be right back. And let me forget to call the vet. Well, hey, that's mailbag. So uh, thanks, thanks to all of you who joined us for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Now I've got to get back to cleaning and shuffling kittens and uh, I think organizing some endowments so that when Splotch, I think Splotch is probably going to go home tomorrow. Uh, I haven't seen any reason in the last, I don't know, 48 hours. I haven't seen any reason to keep her here. Uh, even though before that I was pretty convinced she ought to stay. So if she makes the next 24 hours without giving us uh, any major incidents, then uh, there's just no reason to, to not have her doctor come pick her up tomorrow that I can see. No good reason anyway. Uh, plenty of not good reasons, <laughs> like I'm keeping her. Uh, but I can't, I can't keep her as much as I would like to. So, um, all right. I'm going to end the archive, so if you are still watching, uh, keep watching if you can, but if the video ends, then uh, go look up the Kit Academy live stream and see what's going on right now.